G'day guys and welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be doing my tips for round 14 of the season as we close in on the rest of the buys. Um, I got a reality check last week. As you can see here, three. Uh, thought Sydney would be good enough at home. Brisbane lost four in a row to the Hawks. Frio, well, who knows what the go is there. Um, I can't seem to pick them lately. North, I thought I'd give them a a shake and bake, but uh, no good. A lot of people would have tipped Collingwood. Melbourne, a little upset there. Uh, yeah, so, geez, we have to um, yeah, kick down the corridor here just to yeah get things back on track. But um, also not kick too crazily in the corridor. Be interesting. Anyway, we have a Thursday night clash uh, coming up a couple of days' time. Very exciting. We've got Port Adelaide and Geelong. This one's Adelaide Oval. Uh, I suspect, yeah, Geelong off the buy has always been interesting, although the last couple of years it hasn't really been talked about because we've been winning, uh, but talk about when we lose. So, yeah, it's uh, definitely a fun topic to discuss uh, for non-Cats fans, but uh, I think Port Adelaide will get the job done here. Uh, what do I think they'll win by? Gee whiz, it's a great question. I'm going to go 19 points. I think we'll be able to give them a solid crack, but... Oh, they've won 10 in a row, they're playing at home. Um, they are due to lose one at some stage, they will lose one. So, I mean, hopefully it's this one uh, from a Cats fan perspective. But, yeah, they're they're super strong, looking really good. Um, I still think, yeah, whilst Geelong have a, a good bit of cavalry arriving, um, that, yeah, we're, you know, we're barely playing top eight football and Port Adelaide, I can't even say Port Adelaide properly, uh, playing top two football at the moment. Potentially, so we'll see how that goes, but yeah, going the power. But I hope to long win. Friday night, we've got uh, Brisbane, Sydney at the Gabba. Very difficult to beat the Lions over there, and I reckon they'll win, and Sydney are bottom four sides, so uh, the Lions haven't been playing that great footy of late. As you can see, they've uh, lost back-to-back -back losses with a bit of a buy in between there as well. Saturday, Arvo. Whew, this is going to be very tough. Very tough. GWS, Frio. Frio won the last three. Uh, whatever I do with the Giants, they do the opposite. So I'll go to the Giants, and then Fremantle's going to win. Uh, Giants at home, and I think Fremantle have definitely... They did beat Melbourne in the MCG, so yeah. Um, I think the definitely the opposition that defeated has been really good. I feel like if the Giants just lost to the Tigers uh, at home... And then the Tigers smash the Dockers over there. I feel like GWS might be might be with a bit of a chance here, considering it was uh, a lot closer. Um, but there's no real logic to that. Um, GWS at home. Um, don't don't let me down. If you do, I will never tip you guys ever again. Melbourne cricket ground. We've got Richmond and St Kilda. Uh, this one will be, yeah, a very interesting game. Richmond are playing 29 in football out of nowhere. Um, don't know how, don't know why, but uh, they've got, yeah, a fair few players back, which helps. A um, bit of continuity, but, yeah, they somehow just revitalised their hunger from four years ago, uh, playing that defensive mindset, and I'll tip them. I've been off them the last few weeks, but they've won their last two, losing two before that, and I suggest that's a win against the Cats, and it was. Yeah. Uh, yeah, not with a lot of confidence, but I think, yeah, their best footy beats the Saints best. Saints not doing a lot wrong, though. Definitely, uh, yeah, getting some key players back as well, helping them out big time. Carlton at the MCG are hosting Gold Coast. I don't know how Carlton are ever favourites in any game. Uh, they just they just lose, so they've lost six in a row, I believe. I'll be tipping Gold Coast not even thinking about Carlton's form and where it's at, but just the way Gold Coast have gone about it. Um, the one, at least three of the last four, uh, had a bye as well. And, I, yeah, I just think they're getting a little bit more consistent with their footy. It's it's such a massive game for both clubs. It's like if Carlton lose, gee whiz, what's going on? If Gold Coast wins, it's like, all right, you guys are maturing big time and uh, on the right path. So I think Gold Coast play with a lot more heart, spirit, and vigor, and we'll get the job done. Please don't lose. <laughs> Then we have um, North Melbourne hosting the Western Bulldogs. This one's at Marvel. I feel like the dogs had a few at Marvel, so nice and lucky there. Uh, I'll be tipping the Western Bulldogs. North have definitely improved, um, but 
Yeah, still probably not quite to the level of the Western Bulldogs. The form line will probably show something completely different. Um, maybe not, no, so they've won the last four, and I think, yeah, there have been some big wins in there. I'm pretty sure Josh Bruce kicked 10 very recently. I reckon it was either this one. Yeah, would have been, would have likely been 2021 or 2022 where he kicked 10. Chip kicks or long kicks? I do like long kicks. All right, those are my picks for the rounds. So I've gone for Adelaide, Brisbane, GWS, Richmond, Gold Coast, and the Western Bulldogs. So, uh, yeah, let, let's hopefully get a bit more scoreboard pressure here because uh, that three out of eight is an um, uh, absolute uh, killer blow in the middle of the season. Not really what the doctor ordered, but we'll, we'll try and uh, respond back this week and make it all work out. So uh, that's all from me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the tips video. Don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, comment your tips down below as well and see how we go. Uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. I'll see you all next time.